Breaking news alerts, top stories, and your weather authority forecast. You're watching Rise and Shine. Welcome back, 650. You're watching Rise and Shine here on this Monday morning. Time to geek out. That's what Monday morning means to me. I wake up and I know <laughs> internally it's time to geek out. So uh, we've got <laughs> Owen Robbins from KRRS Systems, and then also you brought a friend here today. This is Tiffany Neal. You are the Wizard of Smart. Yes, I even brought my magic wand, so you better be nice. I right. cast a spell. Uh, oh, hey. hey. <laughs> She stole your bit, Owen. Very nice. I can see that uh, you've trained her well. Yes, very well, good. Well, we're here to talk about Instagram today. Instagram's a, a, a mobile application mm -hmm. that was first introduced for iPad and iPhone, and then in 2012, in April of 2012, was rolled out to Google Play, the Android market. And what it is, is a photo sharing site where you take a photo in Instagram, mm -hmm. and then you, it'll instantly, after you've set it up, send it to all your Facebook friends or to Twitter, Twitter yeah. email, Tumblr, and like that. And and uh, my friend, my marketing consultant here, Tiffany, uh, was out yesterday, Father's Day, and took a photo of her daughter yeah. and got an alert that said, well, hello? Right. I actually downloaded the app yesterday morning and took a picture of my daughter, uploaded it. And an hour later, I had a notification that I had 541 followers. Just like um, that. Boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a lot. And I don't know 541 people, <laughs> so I know that these people were actually seeing my daughter's picture. and. So I went into the settings and you can actually check the privacy box Yeah. and then those followers go away, but okay. they don't show you that to be in the beginning. So. Understandable. So everything's just totally public when you first right. set it all up and you've got to go in there manually and manipulate it so only the people that you want to see it are seeing whatever right. you post. Yeah. All right. So how do we do that? Well, uh, the slide guru. <laughs> There's uh, Instagram.com. Yes. Instagram's little company was created in October of 2010 and was purchased by Facebook for about a billion dollars, 300 million in cash and, yeah. and stock in April of uh, this year. Yep. But you just go to Instagram.com and uh, you can see on your mobile device what you can do is you can go down and check out uh, and, and set your privacy settings in a profile. Mm -hmm. And it's very important. Uh, an example of uh, the settings is uh, you want to turn off your geotagging. For example, uh, if there were somebody with nefarious ideas out there, they know exactly where uh, Tiffany's daughter was even photographed. Right. So right? They, know, they knew what she looked like and they knew exactly where, where that to find picture her. was at least taken. Yeah. Yeah, so. Exactly. And you see, there it is. That's Twitter, what geotagging means. Twitter, so. email, Flickr, mm -hmm. and Facebook right there is turned off. Well, you turn it on. If you don't go in deeper into the privacy settings, then uh, you can get in trouble. Uh, here you can see that there are privacy settings available. You can yep. block users. Yep. You can report spam. Mm -hmm. You can also uh, report nudity and, and other types of abuse. And they will you know, take it down and they will stop it. But you've got to be aware of what it is you're up to. Exactly. And that's, that's the thing with these. You know, it's kind of amazing to me that these programs after th there's been a big fallout with social media as to privacy, right? Mm -hmm. and, but they still you know, enable things like geotagging, which to me, uh, after, after the big privacy issue became so, so widespread, it's amazing that that's the default setting, you know, nowadays to where it is, it's public. You know, you'd think they'd set it to private instead right. of public, right? And then give you the option to change it. Exactly. Yeah. Back over to public. So, so that's what you did to, to eliminate this problem. Right. After and then those users out. just immediately went away and... It became a private profile. Now there's only three people getting those photos instead yeah. of, you know, 540. And, and, you're <laughs> and you're able to choose who sees your pictures, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Now, actually, I have to grant them permission. I see. Okay. Where before... I Anybody could go right. and check it out. Okay. All and right. if parents are interested in this and uh, are concerned, you might have learned something right there. Mm -hmm. It's just Google Instagram space parents. Yes. And there's some really, really great sites that will... Uh, help straighten and, it out there. And if you haven't heard uh, of Instagram, it's kind of like Twitter with pictures. It's right up there with Facebook. A lot of kids are using it. Uh, your son or daughter, if they have a mobile device, is probably using Instagram, and it is as important to keep private as Facebook. And, and it's real nice what you can do with the photos on Instagram. Yeah. You can make them like an old, the old Instamatic, where yep. it's the actual square yeah. instead of the four by three box. Yeah, a lot of cool and, effects you can and you can on the, the, Like the 70s effect, mm -hmm. and you yeah. know, really psychedelic. And <laughs> like anything, it's got its uh, pros and cons, for sure. All uh -huh. right. Hey, guys, thanks. We thanks. appreciate it. Tiffany, thanks for stopping right. by. Thank you. Best, oh uh, yeah, here we go. What do we do? The, the triple, triple oh. fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> I think... <laughs> 
We'll have to work on that. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That, 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 that was on a dress rehearsal on the... Yeah, on the fifth one. All right, yeah. 6.55. <laughs> We're back right after this.